Hello Air Signs, I'm here to give you insight for the month of January 2023. So let's get started. I've already laid the cards out here and each card represents a theme, okay? It represents a theme for each sign. So we have Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So let's take a look and see what the theme is for Gemini. Ooh, unleash the wild within, she-wolf. There's a she-wolf in the closet, Ooh. Okay, shout out to Shakira, okay, she will. I'm about to blast that song after I'm done with this reading because I forgot how good it was. But she will unleash the wild within. So you are unleashing the wild within, okay? Hopefully you're doing it in a positive way, okay? Because some of you Geminis may be howling at the moon, <laughs> okay? Some of you might be losing your shit a little bit, okay? But be mindful of this. Make sure you you know, have the right intentions. But for others of you, you know, I see this as just being your true authentic self, okay? This is getting in touch with your primal side. Um, this is, I was hearing a no inhibitions, okay? You're just really, um, I was hearing embracing your fullness, okay? Okay, untamed. You're you're someone who is untamed in the month of January. Okay. Um, like I said, just be mindful of how you're directing this energy, the intentions behind it here. But this is liberating energy here. Okay, this is being your true authentic self. I was getting a vision of some of you women having your cha-chas out, and you're just like, This is me. I don't give a damn. This is me, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna do what I want. I'm gonna wear that mini skirt. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want, okay? This is just the energy of that, okay? This is just being wild, okay? And then we have Libra, water guardian. Connect with your emotions. So you're gonna be connecting with your, emotion, your emotions in January, okay? Or you're encouraged to do so. All right. Um, I feel like uh, for some of you Libras, your emotions are going to be teaching you a lot. I was hearing also some of you Libras could be dealing with someone who is of a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or somebody with these energies. You could have this in your chart as well. But you're really connecting with your emotions. I feel like you're going to be really intuitive in the month of January. Um, you're just going to have a feeling. I'm hearing like you're going to have a feeling. You're just going to know when something's off or if something's coming. Like you're going to be really connected with your intuition and, and your emotions emotions as well. Um, others of you, it could be that you're very, you're drowning in your emotions and you're needing to uh, take a look at this, to not allow your emotions to drown you, but understand your emotions. Uh, get to the root cause of why you feel the way that you feel. I just feel like some of you, I was hearing lost at sea. Some of you struggle with your emotions, okay? It's like you, it's like a, a, a wave of emotions hitting you, okay? And taking you from shore. And you were unsure where you felt safe, grounded. It's just like you're being dragged by the sea, okay? So it's a call for you to really um, take back your power and not allow your emotions to get the best of you. If you need help, seek professional help talk to someone really connect with your emotions under understand why you're feeling the way you're feeling okay and then we have aquarius high priest intend and create so you are setting your intentions and you are creating aquarius okay you're also encouraged maybe encouraged to do so okay to set your intentions and create um I was hearing that some of you Aquarius are claiming, okay? It's like you're claiming what it is that you're wanting, okay? And it's, it, it is kind of like an energy of demanding, like, um, this is like an energy of like, and so it shall be, and so it is. It's like you're claiming what you're wanting, okay? And by you doing that, you're creating in the process, okay? Um, and what else am I seeing here? Right. Um, some of you, uh, you're needing to create peace. You need to, you're needing to come in peace, I see here. There's a strong emphasis on peace, all right? You need to come in peace. Approach a situation with peace, not force, okay? Because this, I'm just getting the energy of just kind of like forceful energy, all right? This may be you or somebody that you could be dealing with, 
all right so just be mindful of that okay because what you set your intentions on all right is what you will create and it could be good or bad so just be really mindful of this as well okay but i do see that you are setting your intentions you're claiming what you're wanting and you are creating and that's that's beautiful it's like you really know your power Okay, I was getting the energy of a magician. Some of you Aquarius can literally be magicians. Okay, you have no problem with creating. All right. All right, let's see what else is going on. Okay, what's, what's going on with air signs in January 2023? Air signs, air signs. What's going on with air signs? Air signs, air signs. What's going on with air signs in January? What's going on with air signs in January? Okay, I was also hearing Gemini is like the, being the leader of the pack. Some of you could be straying away from the pack, okay? All right, because usually wolves travel in packs, and so maybe you're just, you're you're venturing out on your own, you're doing your own thing, you're in your own lane. Others of you, maybe you are leading this pack, you know what I mean? I was getting a vision of somebody beating on their chest like King Kong. <laughs> All right, what else is going on with the air signs? Air signs, what's going on with air signs in January 2023? What's going on with air signs? Air signs. Air signs. Air signs. I saw somebody blowing out some candles. So you could be celebrating somebody's birthday uh, in January. Okay. Or Aquarius, you could be celebrating a birthday since your birthday is in uh, January for some of you. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. So this is jupiter and gemini okay you could have jupiter in your third house all right or Ju jupiter and gemini placement okay so uh, gemini you could relate to this but this is the energy of feeling stuck okay this is the lord of limited force so just feeling stuck not seeing a way out of your situation okay um and this is probably why some of you Gemini's, for some of you, you're 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 unleashing the wild within. You're saying no more. I refuse to be stuck. I, re I refuse to perseverate on the situation that's no longer serving me. Okay, but as a collective, I see here that somebody is in an energy of feeling stuck. They're they're not really knowing which way to go. They perceive their situation as uh, a situation that is burdensome. Uh, not even just burdensome, it's just stuck mentally. Okay, so some of you could be focused on something. It's, we're playing over and over and over and over in your head, okay? You could be dealing with another air sign, Leo, Gemini, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? This could even be a Scorpio as well, but it doesn't matter. But this is just focus on something, like fixated on something, all right? Oh, the tower. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay, so there could have been a divine intervention here, air signs. Okay, this is um, also talking about change. So some of you could be stuck on a situation um, and you're encouraged to tap into this tower card here. T the tower is Mars. Mars is the planet of action, desires, and aggression here. Okay, um, some of you could be holding on to aggression or focus on aggression it could be because of something that has happened in the past okay something has something had something took place where it, it upset you okay this is also scorpio energy as well aries energy you could be dealing with these signs but you're encouraged to free yourself um some of you aries could have been in a situation that was leaving not aries some of you air signs could have been in a situation that left you feeling stuck okay or it could have been somebody that you were dealing with and there was a divine intervention okay okay god the universe was like no we're not doing this no we're putting an end to this i also see this tower as you air signs initiating this initiating a change okay uh, this is a sudden shock here okay i was hearing chicken little chicken little the sky is falling okay so so some of you could have been fixated on something and then all of a sudden here comes this divine intervention intervention here comes this shock okay and then we have the two of coins so i feel like this change that has taken place needed to happen Okay, because there needed to be balance. There was there was a situation that was out of balance. You could have been out of balance 
or it could have been the relationship or connection that was out of balance here. This definitely could have been a relationship. This could be a fight, some uh, um, a fight within the relationship, aggression within a relationship, somebody not let, letting go of the past or somebody just focused on just making things bigger than they, they should should be, okay? But this change had to take place, okay? Because balance needed to be restored here, okay? This is Jupiter in Capricorn here. So Ju Jupiter is here. So you're being called to learn from this experience here. This major change that take that took place, air signs, you're needing to learn from the situation. You know, Jupiter is the planet of ex uh, expansion, optimism, abundance, even wisdom as well, okay? So you are learning from the situation or you're encouraged to learn from the situation, okay? I see balance being restored here after a very difficult time, right? Five of Cups, oh wow. So this is Mars and Scorpio, okay? So we have Mars here twice, all right? So this is the Lord of, what is it? The Lord of, like it's um, pleasures lost, okay? So someone is feeling like they've lost pleasure, they've lost their happiness, okay? Air signs, you could be in this vibration where you're feeling sad, you're feeling disappointed, okay? Um, I was hearing someone had broke free, okay? And so therefore it has caused um, some sadness here, all right? Um, what else am I seeing here? This could just also be disappointment, um, with your finances. Okay. So there could be some disappointment with your finances. You're desiring a financial balance. Um, but there is some disappointment here. Some of you could have lost some money in some type of way. Could have lost some money. That's for some of you, not all of you, okay? Um, what else am I seeing here? Oh, wow. I, I, I want to get some more insight on this Five of Cups here. Yeah, because this is sadness. This is dis disappointment. Um, this is crying over spilt milk. This is being petty as well. You know what I mean? It's like the importance here is the balance. Like balance balance was needed, but there is somebody who's taking it hard and they're not focused on the bigger picture. They're just focused on their needs and what was done to them, but they're not really looking at the bigger picture. Like, okay, well, this needed to happen. This change needed to take place, okay, in order for balance to be restored, in order for order to be restored, okay? What is the five of cups here? I just keep hearing me, 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 me. Somebody focus on themselves. Um, this, you could have Mars and Scorpio or you could have Mars in your eighth house. Okay. Uh, some of you could have lost somebody. Okay. You could experience the loss. Okay. You could have, some of you could have been could have taken on some type of responsibility in January. Maybe you're caring for someone, all right? Caring for a loved one. This has something to do with relationships, partnerships, okay? And and there was a disappointment that came out of this for some of you, I see here. Five of Cups, Five of Cups. What is Five of Cups? Five of Cups. Five of Cups, Five of Cups. I just keep hearing me, me, me. Like somebody's just focused on them. Like they're not looking at the bigger picture. Five of Cups. I was hearing how could you? Five of Cups. Five of Cups is the Knight of Swords. Oh, Lord. Okay, so um, this could have been another air sign person. Okay. <sighs> that could have upset you, air sign. Okay, or somebody with these energies. It could, could have been a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It doesn't matter, but there could have been somebody that said something um, very reckless, um, very mean. And it's like this is the energy of having hurt feelings here. Okay, maybe you had said something 
you shouldn't have said. Okay. Um, the Knight of Swords is someone who's very aggressive too. So I, I do see this as somebody being very aggressive and towards someone and then someone either experiencing a disappointment or some type of loss. So just be really mindful, air signs. Okay, be sure that you're not in this Knight of Swords energy. Okay, where you're being the aggressor. All right. Um, I also see this Five of Cups as moving forward after a difficult situation, after disappointment. Okay, moving forward. Clear. I was also hearing clearing your mind. Okay, I was also getting a vision of someone taking a drive to clear their mind. Okay, so instead of getting angry and creating chaos and aggression and explosions, go take a ride to cool off. Okay, clear your mind. Take some time out to clear your mind. All right. It's really important for you to do that. All right. But this, like I said, this is the energy of just moving forward. Focus on something new. Um, I was hearing an action plan. Okay. Coming up with an action plan. Okay. Or maybe coming up with a solution. You're being, some of you are being called to take action after a disappointment, after pleasure has been lost. Okay. I'll just keep hearing time to move forward. Okay, what else do we got? What else do we got for air signs? Air signs. What else do we got for air signs? Okay. Yeah, it's just a strong energy of someone being fixated on something. It, it could even be just the past repeating itself over and over. Like maybe it's replaying in your head. And spirit is saying, no, it's time to stop this way of thinking. It's time to put an end to this way of thinking because it's not serving you. It's leaving you out of balance. And you know what? When you're off energetically, it can affect your money. Okay. It can affect your um, production. Okay. So be mindful of that. We got the full seven of swords, the higher font and the chariot here. So... The Seven of Swords came out in the fire sign reading. So you definitely could have fire in your chart. The um, chariot also came out in the fire sign reading as well. So the fool, this is a new beginning. Okay, you could also be dealing with somebody who is foolish or, you know, you can you can be in this <laughs> energy in January, you know, maybe making full, uh, foolish decisions, maybe reckless decisions. Just be mindful of this. All right. Um, I do see relocating. Okay. This could also be somebody that's relocating. Um, this full card is looking over at the seven of swords. So uh, some of you may feel like someone is hiding something for, from you. This is a moon in Aquarius. You could have moon in Aquarius or you could have a moon in your 11th house here. Okay. Um, but you could feel like somebody's withholding some information for, from you or, or hiding something for, from you. Okay. Um, the Fool and the Seven of Swords. I hope this camera does not die. If it does, then I have to pick up where I left off. Um, the Fool and the Seven of Swords. Mm. Okay. I was hearing moving over to uncharted waters. Okay, so you could be moving on, but maybe not expressing this to other people or it's like you have a plan, but you're not really um, upfront about what this plan is like you're withholding some information. What is the seven of swords here? Okay, or, or like I said, it could be somebody withholding information or you think that they're withholding information. What is the seven of swords? The seven of swords, seven of swords, seven of swords, seven of swords is a justice card. Oh God. So somebody could have lied on you or, um, maybe you lied about something and justice was served. It makes a lot of sense. Cause you know, this tower card is seven and the seven of swords is right here. So definitely has something to do with a relationship, a partnership here. Okay. Somebody could have moved on. It could have been a Libra that had decided to leave you. Okay. Or somebody with Libra energy. Somebody had liberated themselves. Okay, this is truth and, and balance. Truth and fairness. Okay, so there was some lies here. Okay, 
and this is being a made made aware of so this person is taking action this libra is taking action they're liberating themselves they're living in their truth they're focused on balance and order they're not with the bullshit anymore and this could definitely be you air signs just moving forward moving away from this you're seeing the truth okay as the fool you see things very clearly you're you're at a um, I was hearing you're getting an aerial view, like you see the bigger picture here, or this could be the person that you're dealing with. They're seeing the bigger picture here and they have decided to liberate themselves. Okay. Also, if somebody has lied or done something that was not honest. Their roof is being blown off. Okay. It's, it's going to be exposed. It's going to be revealed here. Okay. You cannot hide, hide it all. Okay. There's consequences here. I see. Okay, um, Mars, and then we have Libra, uh, Aries and Libra. So this is an opposition. This is definitely an opposition here. The Hierophant um, talks about a marriage. Okay, it also talks about faith. It also talks about um, rules, regulations as well. Okay. Um, Somebody could have, I was hearing, broke their vows, okay? You could have been dealing with someone who broke their vows. This could have been could have taken place in the past or could be taking place in January, okay? There was something about breaking vows here, I'm seeing. Um, the Hierophant does also talk about an organization as well, all right? Um, some things that were hidden could have been made aware to you or some unspoken word. Now it's being clear. The truth is out. Now there's balance. And so some of you air signs are focused on your relationship, your marriage now, and you're now able to move forward with this person. Okay. This could be a Taurus or cancer energy. I see here. So there could have been some challenges here. Okay. And now you're able to move forward and work on your relationship with this person I see here. The Seven of Swords also talks about some type of strategy. Okay, you are maybe desiring a new beginning, desiring to move forward. And so for some of you, you needed to strategize, okay, or you needed to um, maybe withhold some information, okay, so you can begin to strategize. All right. Or begin to do the necessary planning. I also see that some of you could be getting married or uh, secretly, secretly getting married. OK, or you have already gotten married. Maybe you got married in, in December and didn't tell anybody. And now it's out in the open. This is an energy of just like a secret marriage here. Like somebody got married secretly. OK, um, how do you see that here? Um, also with the Hierophant, I was hearing God. So some of you are needing to get closer with God, the creator. Okay. It's not necessarily talking about a religion for some of you. It could definitely talk about religion. Okay. But for others of you, just getting close to the creator, getting closer to the uh, universe, aligning with the universe. This is also an energy of co-creating. I see here with the chariot and the Hierophant. This is co-creating with spirit, co-creating with the universe. Okay. Uh, let's marry the two cards here, the Hierophant and the chariot, Hierophant and chariot. Chariot, Hierophant and Chariot, Hierophant and a Chariot. Okay, there is a strong energy of learning from your past. Some of you, your past could just still be haunting you. Okay, your past is still haunting you and it, it creates issues. So just be mindful of this. Wow, the strength card. So the um, Hierophant and the Chariot is the strength card. So um, for some of you, this is a marriage that has experienced ups and downs, trials and tribulations. So you're encouraged to have strength, okay? It takes two to tango, okay? It takes two to make a thing go right. So be mindful of this, okay? If your partner is willing to work on the relationship, you know, and you care about this person, you care about the relationship, put in the work too. But I do see here, this is the relationship that has, that has been through some things. And so you're encouraged to stand strong. Okay. I also see here for some of you, you don't want to be a part of the crowd. You don't want to be uh, with the rest of the group. So some of you I see are breaking free. You're getting back in the driver's seat and you're choosing to do your own thing. You're choosing not to allow people to dictate your moves and what you should do and all that stuff. So you're standing firm. You're standing strong as well. Also, this is a call for you to not be in an energy of dogmancy, like being being dogmatic and controlling. Okay, because I see that there's an energy of someone that's really controlling, trying to, 
you know, make somebody bend, trying to make someone do what they want. And that's not how you do it. That's not the appropriate way of doing things. You can only control yourself. So it's important for you to maintain that inner beast or not really maintain it, but just tame that inner beast within you. Okay. You can't make anybody do anything. Okay. If somebody is trying to use, I was hearing like religion or trying to use, I don't know, I was hearing the doctrine or something to control. Okay. So this is just an energy of that. And this could be your own doctrine and what you, what your beliefs are. And you're trying to use your beliefs, uh, to control other people. So air signs, be really mindful of that and be mindful of somebody's trying to do that to you, okay? So let's take a look and see what your advice is going forward. What is air signs advice going forward? Air signs, air signs. What is air signs advice going forward? Air signs, okay, air signs. Okay, 16 card. And I was also hearing some of you could have broken up with somebody, got a, got a divorce, okay? All right, I do see that, like separated from somebody. Your advice going forward is Mary, miracles, wow. <laughs> Mary, Mother Mary, huh? So for some of you, this definitely hits home here, okay? I was talking about connecting with God, the universe, not necessarily religion, but for some of you, it is religion, okay? So Mary, it's miracles. So focus on the miracles. You're encouraged to focus on the miracles as you move forward, especially if you've been through some disappointment, some sudden shock, shocks, changes, okay? Some of you could have been through some shit, and it could be, it could be that you're going through some things internally or outside of you. So it's important for you to believe in miracles, to understand that the sun will rise again, but you have to really believe in this, okay? All right, miracles can happen. It definitely can happen. And I do see this as I'm looking at the cards and the way things are progressing here. I do see a miracle on the horizon. So it's important for you to focus on that. Believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. Mm. Where are you from? You sexy thing. You sexy thing. You. Okay, let's see. Um, focus on your person, the person that you have in your mind. And we're going to see what past life connection you have with this person. What past life connection does air sign have with this person in mind what past life connection does air sign have with this person i believe in miracle oh, wars and battles oh lord okay the tower here yeah okay so in your past life okay this person was your op okay there's your opposition okay so that's probably why you guys fight a lot <laughs> now okay and it could be that you came from different backgrounds okay there was wars and battles or maybe if you guys were on the uh, on the front lines okay being soldiers and maybe you were like civilians uh, from different backgrounds okay and maybe your maybe your your I don't, I don't want to say race. Maybe your group of people were going against your partner's group of people and there was there was war. So there's like some wars and battles and confrontation, okay, that you've experienced in your past life with this person. And that's probably why you guys are in that energy now or experience the wars and the battle and the struggle, okay, in, in, in this current life now, okay. Um, but it's a call for you guys to call it a truce to choose your battles, of course, if this is a relationship or connection that is worth fighting for, okay? Meaning, not in a negative way, but in a positive way, worth savaging, salvaging, then move towards that, work together, okay? Move forward together. It's not all about conquering the next person or the person conquering you, okay? So we're gonna pick four cards for air signs, four cards. Four cards. Oh Lord. Four cards. Four cards for air signs. Four cards. Four cards. Four cards. Four cards. Four cards. And spirit was telling me, uh, for some of you, there could be just like 
just an energy of like being with someone from a different background, a different race, a different upbringing. And it could be that maybe family members are not accepting your union because you're from a different tribe or a different race. But it's just the energy of that. Okay. Oh, shit. Charge battery. Oh, hang on. Don't die yet. Okay. We have healthy boundaries. So you're needing to set some healthy boundaries in your relationship or your connection. Okay. Or, or with the people involved. You, you're focused on security. Okay. All right. Or this is a focus for the, per, um, yeah, a focus for you. Disloyal. Okay. So there is a question about disloyalty. I saw that with the seven of swords. All right. You may feel like somebody's disloyal. Maybe you've been disloyal. Take it as it resonates and toxic. So you could be in a toxic relationship or dealing with toxic people. So bring awareness to this. Okay. And nip it in the bud, whatever this toxicity is toxicity is remove it this could be a way of responding um maybe a way of thinking as well behaviors okay so this is the end of the reading please like share and subscribe and i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month and god bless